Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Passing It On and I am Rina Govinda, your host. Today it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you someone that is very close to me and a, a person that I've grown up as well, grown up with as well. In fact, she has taught me to overcome the fear of water. Um, lovingly, I call her Auntie uh, Panjalaka and she hails from the Mill Barracks Montechikum area. At the age of 81, she comes from a family of eight children. She has 10 uh, grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Now, one of her meals that is, that is her signatory to her meal is the dal. So today she's going to introduce to you the very variations of the dal. Now, the little about dal. In the medieval time in India, in, in Taj Mahal, the palace, Shah Jahan, he loved dal. So the cooks should cook dal every day. That was the male meal for the day. And he got quite tired with just dal, dal, dal. So he asked the chef to, you know, to, to play around the dal and find something that's different. So they started using the chana dal, the red doll, the moon doll, the gram doll and that's how you get the variation of the different kinds of doll. But today we are going to do something uh, with the pea doll. A pea doll is basically the legumes that is split, harvested and dried and that's what you get, the pea doll. So today Auntie Panjalaka is going to take us on a little epic journey even as we do the sour doll. Today is the sour doll. So Auntie pa uh, Pan Panjalaka can you tell me how you prepare the doll, the boiled doll? Uh, 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 boil the doll. Yes. Then I add some turmeric powder. Okay. And some salts. I boil the doll and then I okay. boil it like one side. Okay. And mm -hmm. I see you also got uh, hinge powder. Mm -hmm. This powder is basically for when you're boiling your doll, you can use this powder to take off the gas of the doll. So which means people that are sensitive to gas, they they okay after they have this doll. Okay, and then I see the spices that she has here today is minimal spices. There's no, there's no jeera that we usually use in the doll, and that's what makes this meal so different. She just has the onions here. She has the, she has the chilies, and then you've got a little bit of turmeric powder. We've got some garnishing, which is the dania and your curry leaf, and then the herbs that she's going to use. Uh, Panjilaka, what herbs is this? So it's just a clover leaf. The clover leaf. clover leaf. Okay, so you can also use the, the chirikira herbs and there's, there's other sourdough herbs that you yes, could you use can, as well. But this is the best. Yes, it gives yes, you more flavor yes, as well. Am I yes, correct? Yes. So you just washed it and you clean the root out. Yes, That's it. Yes. So this is all ready. You just clean up the roots and you wash it and this is ready. So now she's going to show us how to actually prepare the sourdough herbs. Okay, so this is your part. Alright, you're going to just tell us what you're doing? Okay. I add some oil. Just a little bit of oil. Yes. I'll uh, say mm. just one tablespoon of oil. Yes. So you just have to then wait for it to get a bit hot. Yes. Okay. And then after that? Onions. onions. So the onions is sliced already? Yes. You used about two onions? Oh yeah. So that needs to simmer a bit till it gets brown. Yes. Okay. So you're going to stir that. The doll is a very uh, child friendly meal as well. So would your children, as the way she is doing it, with minimum spices, your children will love this as well. So now we're going to just wait for the onions to get yeah. a bit brown. brown. As you can see, it's getting a bit brown now. Okay, it's getting nicely brown. So you're going to add okay. the green chili. The green chili. So we've just got three green chili, but it depends on you know how hot you want the sourdough. I like my sourdough really hot, so I'll add like about five chilies. You can actually have the, the red chili as well. I'm not gonna yes, yes, yes. You can add that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna add the red. Now we're going to put in the clover herbs. Okay, 
see the smoke is coming up, the, the smell of the onion. In fact, at home, just to save on time and so on, because these herbs are quite tedious tasks to clean, you can actually cut them at home. You can skin it up. You can do it as you ice chip face and make good chips and freeze it up. So whenever you have a guest that's vegetarian or you just feel like having summer dog, you can actually you can actually use that. Okay, as you can see, the clover leaves are slowly trying to be getting dissolved in the, the oil and the onions as well. So it, that will be ready in a while. And the chilies. And the green chilies. Okay. I'm going to add a bit of turmeric powder to give it that color. So that's one teaspoon. You can see it's getting a bit thick as well. In fact, at home you can actually you can actually use the masher and mash the doll. See, it's like quite fine as well. Okay. So you're trying to crush the chili as well. Yes. Okay. So you pick uh, cook sour doll all the time at home. Okay. Okay, as you can see, the herbs is ready now, mm -hmm. the clover herbs. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, Panjalaka, what are you doing now? The doll. The doll, okay. Yes. So this is the already boiled mm -hmm. doll. Yes. That she's going to put into the herb. Then you need some water. Yes. Can I have some water here? Yeah, I have Just to make it a bit more yes. watery. Yes. About half a cup of water. Mm. Is that fine? Yes. Okay, as you can see, the doll and the sour herbs, she's mixing it together. Okay, so you have to say about five minutes, Panjalaka, for yes. you to Yes, yes. Okay. Can I add some salt to that? Very nice. I could have mixed with this already added salt. So just add a little because yes, she's already yeah. add, uh, added salt into the boiled dough. So she's just adding a little. Okay. So that just needs to cook a bit. Yes. So if you want it more water, you can add more. You can add water, yeah. More, okay, water too. And cold water is fine. Fine. Okay. So those that are, have um, tolerance to chilies, you have to use minimum chilies to this dish, maybe just one, because the pots need to be crushed into the herbs as well. So that needs to cook up. The next variation of dal that we're going to be doing is the drumstick dal. Now if you look uh, before you, uh, these are drumsticks. And they come from a tree called the Morumka tree. Now, growing up in the area of barracks, uh, every house had a Morumka tree, and this was a meal in everybody's house for most of the week. And uh, if you look at the uh, Morumka, the the leaves itself, they have a health beneficial. It brings your it brings your sugar down. Am I correct, Panjana? Yes. And it helps with your the bones, your 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 bone system, your your marrow system. So now today she's going to show us how to make the drumstick dal. Now first she's going to show us how to clean the drumsticks. Hajilaka, can you? Okay, what you're going to do? You're cutting the ends off. Cutting end. Okay. Yeah. okay. In fact, you can use the uh, drumsticks in your meat dishes. You could. I have it at home with chutney, so you can use that with chutney as well. So she's just taking out the ends. And then she's going to uh, scrape the hard part yeah. of the uh, the drumstick. Okay, you can see what she's doing right now. So it doesn't it doesn't have that bitter taste to the drumstick yes, when you put it into yeah. the doll. Mm. Okay, now she's slicing it. You can slice it however big you want it. It depends on your your family's take to this. So she's yeah. just slicing that. Okay, that's ready. And it's nice for kids as well because they like to chew onto something. So when you put it into the dal, they can actually have something to bite on as well. Do 
you have a tea at home, Panjaka? No, no, I, I have tea, but I don't have now. Oh, okay. Look at the tree. You do get the more younger one? Uh, yes, yeah. This yeah. is our ground. And that's more easier to, to yeah. clean as well, mm -hmm. the younger ones. Mm -hmm. She's just cleaning that up. Can you freeze this? You know, like uh, if you, I know, I because they the seasonal, they come and yeah. they go off. I, I never do you anything. Tried, you know, no, okay. yes. Because I did see it at one of the, the stores where they had oh, frozen, yeah. frozen drumsticks. So I guess you can freeze them a bit. Yeah. So that's ready. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're just going to rinse it a bit. Okay, so this is ready. Okay, now Panjilaka, mm -hmm. you're going to show us how to how to prepare this. Okay. Okay. So the stove is on. So the spices that she has to the drumstick is basically she's got chili powder because it's like more like a, you know the biryani the biryani doll that we just substituting the bread job for the drumstick and she's got onion uh, this is she's got tomatoes that she's using here as well and then normal turmeric powder and then she's got um, the garnishing okay so now she's gonna add a bit of oil Put a bit of onion. Okay, so that needs to get a bit brown. Okay, she's just frying the onion a bit. Okay, that's almost ready. You're gonna add the chili powder. Chili powder. Okay. So that's just one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Yeah. If you want chili, can you add green chili to it? If you want. Yeah, I okay. said. Okay. 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 That's That's your tomato. tomato. So you just got yeah. one green chili. Okay. Nice tomato. Just gonna mix that together. just want to let that dissolve a bit. Okay, now she's going to add the drumsticks into the tomatoes. We're basically braising it now. That has to cook a bit. Yeah, they do the pot. Hmm? Yeah, they do the pot. We're going to add a little bit of water for it to simmer a bit and cook. Yeah. Okay, that needs to cook a bit. Okay, so the drumsticks is almost cooked, so we're going to add the doll. Am I correct, Panjalaka? Yes. Okay, yes. So this is already boiled doll at home. Boiled doll, yeah. Oops. So you, it's nice and thick as well. Have you added salt into that? Yes, I did. Okay, so she did add salt into the boiled doll, so you don't have to add salt right now. No. If you want the curry to be more, if you want no, the curry right. to be more red, you can add some chili powder again. Okay, yes, you can add yes, more chili yes, powder. Yes, yes. Okay. It's okay like that. It's okay like that. Okay. It's okay like that, yeah. Okay, so it's okay like yes, this as well. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So that cooks as well. Mm -hmm. So in, st in place of the drumsticks, you can mm -hmm. ac actually uh, put in brandol. Okay. You can put brandol, you can put uh, sand. Okay, so you yeah. can use the oil that 
Okay, so this is very rough. 